I was uh, born in England uh, into an Irish Catholic home. My uh, mother, who is Irish Catholic, had married my father, who actually is a Kurdish Muslim. And my father had converted to Catholicism uh, when he married my mother, so I was raised Catholic. Uh, we moved to Canada when I was 12, and uh, it was the mid-60s, and uh, not surprisingly, like many of my generation, I got caught up with that whole uh, revolutionary fervor, wanting to change our parents' culture and society. And I was actually a doctrinaire Marxist, uh, kind of a Trotskyite for a period of time. And then in the providence of God, he, while I was at university, he brought into my life uh, a fear of death. Uh, and I began to search, uh, Marxism was obviously not gonna help me. And I began to search uh, Eastern religions, uh, Zen Buddhism, Taoism. And again, in the providence of God, he brought across my path uh, a young woman who was a believer, evangelical, uh, Baptist. And uh, I asked her if I could go to her church because I really wanted to clean up my life. And it was there that I, I found Christ in uh, February of 1974. I've always loved history. Uh, ever since I was a very young child, the, my favorite subject in school was history. And if you'd asked me when I was uh, probably eight, nine years old what I wanted to do in life, I would have said, uh, be a historian, um, if I'd really kind of understood what that term meant. There was a very brief period of time in my uh, bachelor's degree that I was pursuing philosophy, but even there it was the history of philosophy. And so after my conversion and a sense of a call to ministry, uh, church history was a logical pathway uh, for me to take. Um, my first exposure to Southern probably came through hearing Dr. Muller speak at a conference uh, in 1995 or thereabouts uh, near St. Louis. It was a uh, Spurgeon pastor's conference, and I was quite amazed by uh, his eloquence, his, uh, uh, his ability to articulate Christian truth, and also his depiction of something of the seminary, the situation at the time, and I remember writing him seeking a to see if there might be a position I could apply for. It was not until 2001 that there were any concrete overtures that uh, were made regarding Southern. Uh, by that time, I had two very close friends, uh, Dr. Stephen Wellam and Dr. Peter Gentry, who were working here. And Dr. Gentry arranged for me to have an interview with uh, the then pro Vice President, uh, Danny Aiken. And uh, from that point on, it was, a, a, it was almost a given. Um, I began teaching as adjunct in 2002 and then uh, full-time in 2008 and January of 2008. Um, teaching at Southern has uh, a tremendous privilege, um, not only in terms of uh, both faculty, the, my colleagues here, and the students, but also you are at, the, I think, the finest uh, theological seminary in uh, North America today. There's no doubt in my mind about that. And uh, there are still times, and I've been here now uh, since 2002 teaching adjunct, and since 2008 teaching full time, there are still times where I kind of pinch myself to, am I really here? And uh, it's, it's just been a tremendous, tremendous experience. And I can't uh, recommend uh, Southern enough in terms of uh, a place to train uh, for a lifelong, uh, for a life of ministry.